Cold Cute Sun. This is a medical, medical report card belonging to the victim. I see and I don't see. Well, for boy. Campaign was written on this report card with your witness statement. Something clearly doesn't add up. Dear me, dear me, have you forgotten my words so soon, you amateur? Sorry, what? You're not in to interrupt court proceedings with the amateur stripper. But, let's see if I can explain them words you may understand. It was after 10 p.m. in the afternoon when the victim was murdered at the restaurant. Every may or not have been before that time is completely irrelevant. Ah, uh, but, but that's, um, remember Winoski, you don't have to use clever language or fancy words. Just make your point. Yeah, Clancy, I believe we're finished here. There's no need to prolong this trial further. Hmm. The witness testimonies the court have heard have been clear and concise. This uh, medical report card has no bearing on the matter or for the simple reason that there's no one else beside this pit. This medical report. <clears throat> this medical report card has nothing to do with the case. Do you really believe that? What? What? Uh, that I bet her petrify me, boy. Of course, I believe it. How, po- how could it possibly be relevant? Perhaps because hot clinic, which says you the report card, is a dental clinic. A dental clinic? Is that supposed to mean something to me? Perhaps if I told you that the victim just had, had just had a tooth extracted. What's this now? And furthermore, if I told you that so I thought the victim had been forbidden for meeting. Just, just what you trying to say, cadet? The had orders not to eat, so what? So I've written up here. No food or drink other than water for three hours post procedure while anesthesia wears off. What? No, that, that can't be. Koikuta san. What boy, what? As you just heard, when he was killed, sometime shortly after 2 p.m., the victim could not be eating anything. Oh, a dozen me. There's more. Yeah, I've reassured the court with unwavering self confidence that the victim was standing alone. But that cannot possibly be the case. Mm. Because the victim, as we know now, had just one of his teeth that started and was still experiencing the effects of the anesthesia. Expertly done, partner. What? Why is this nonsense, you little upstart? These are baseless accusations. Just, just look at this photographic evidence. You can clearly see the play of food at the victim's table. Use your head. That's a very discrepancy we're talking about, or can you not follow the logic? How dare you? I think it's fair to say that the tables in this restaurant case have turned. Wouldn't you agree, Renoski? 
Hmm? Yes, most definitely. So having just undergone some dental surgery, the fitting was unable to eat. Which leaves one very crucial conundrum. Well, cru- yeah, conundrum. He in fact was eating the pizza beef, beef steak. The court will hear the opinion of the defense on this. New puzzle, I assume you're ready, Council. Council? Oh, that that means me, doesn't it? Alright. The answer to this question is going to be pivotal. This is the stuff you, you turn in this trial around. So then what you're made of. Got it. So, um... Must have been me, uh, as of yet, unknown. Obviously, it can only be someone else who was sitting at the professor's table. You will not let this go, will you? There was no such person. There was, because I saw her. When the incident occurred, we know the f- that the victim can have been eating anything, yet we have evidence of a half-eaten steak on his table. Therefore, the only logical conclusion is that w- there was someone else there eating it. <laughs> we have strong evidence to support our cases, and it's clear the witness testimonies are unreliable. If the court decides to push a rule for a ruling at this stage, we will also form a complaint with the Ministry of Justice and pursue a fair retrial relentlessly. Kazuma, are you insane? You, you and me take on the government? Don't worry, Consul. I have no issue with you. What do you mean? We have an issue with them, those two witnesses in the stand. What? What are you talking about? We have demonstrated with evidence the victim was not alone. So if it turns out that the two of you are deliberately lied when given your testimonies, Obviously, you will be charged with perjury. Perjury? And since this is a murder trial, you will also be deemed complex in the killing. Complicit in murder? No! no negative. The, there was no mention of this tactical me- at the tactical meeting. I was just following orders. I'll try to have some answers. Just to you say you never saw the gentlewoman. That's what they uh, told us. Oh, Calcutta. Oh. What? What did you just say, Kokuta san? Oh, no. You were just following orders? No, I hold on, lad. I was, um. So you never saw the gentlewoman? Ugh. When you say gentlewoman, do you mean. You saw the victim with a lady from overseas. I see, uh, no, it's a good time to quickly chief inspect it. Well, that's unexpected. Why is, look, do you see what? Satori Hosanga. Yeah. Job title. Yep, 
Yep. Inspector Warnes. I have no idea. But let's face it, the police have a lot of potent influence. Look, they're wielding stuff from here. Get that out of the way. I know. You saw the victim with an honest way that. What? What was the meaning of all this? These witnesses gave false statements? Is that true, you pair? Just one, just one simple sup of the tongue. Order, order, console, explain what's going on here. It's painfully clear now you try to prevent these witnesses from telling the truth. Absolutely not. The prosecution knows nothing of this. Uh, hold on. Just wait a minute. Then who did this? Who tried to keep your mouth shut? Well, um... That's classified. So you're prepared to be tried as a conspirator to this murder, are you? You... you weren't... This can't be happening. And no escape. Judging from the way that I reacted to this, I would say they, uh, they were sworn to sign silence with some by someone with considerable influence. However, I don't believe Archie had any idea about it. What are you saying? I mean, to will that kind of influence, there's only a handful of possibilities. Could only have been the government, the military, or, or the police, I suppose. Well, any ideas about who might be behind this? If we can affirm who tried to silence these witnesses, then we can continue our pursuit. So we need to name whoever it was who tried to make the witnesses keep their mouths shut. Of course, we need evidence before we make any firm accusations. Evidence approves whoever really did it, wield his or her pie here. Pie? He, how can we possibly... Remember how we made progress before? Before? We examine this piece of evidence, more detail and find a new clue as a result. Ah yes, that's, oh yes, that's right. Well, that's not the only piece of evidence we have, is it? We need to re-examine everything and make sure there's nothing we missed. There's no time to lose. I want answers. If it's proven that these witnesses have been manipulate, manipulate, manipulated, why can I not say that? I assure you the pen penalty will be severe. Please wait, Your Excellency. I've n I had no idea about any of this. I swear to every single god, I need nothing. And what does the defense have to, have to say all about, about all this, hmm? Uh, well, Your Excellency, uh, no time to think. Just gonna have to close my eyes and show it the first name that comes into my head. Besides Prosecus, I'm the only person with the national influence to... Manipulate these the witnesses. Well, surely that would be Satori Hosanga san. Hosanga san, the waiter who took the stand earlier. Poppycock, what possible reason would the waiter have to make these witnesses give false testimony? Not to mention the fact that even a hair waiter could not possibly have that level of influence. 
For once, I would agree with you. If Dias, the man truly were a waiter. Where? Well, if he truly were. Come on, Renosuke. Time to hit this court with the truth. The truth. The truth about how Satu Hunger Sands, we are identical. We are identity as proven by this evidence. Yes. The plan of the restaurant sketched by the man in question. Hmm. I agree it shows a great detail for te- great deal of attention to detail, but I'm not sure if we can conclude anything. So your yeah, excellency, that's the back of the card. It's the back of the card. That's of interest. I beg your pardon? Or oh, perhaps I should have said the front? Yes, it's the front of the back of the card. That's where the de- telling detail is. Will someone please explain what this oversighted student is trying to say? Osanga san sketched the plan of the restaurant on the reverse side of his business card. The front of the business card reveals a man in question's profession, his true profession. The waiting, waiter's profession, but that surely good g- gracious. That's right, your excellency. The car reads Chief Inspector Primary Criminal Investigation Division Imperial Police Bureau. What? The, the waiter is a police detective. I haven't heard any mention of this before. Why haven't heard any mention of this before? Imperial Police Bureau has immense power. Absolute power. As far as regular citizens are, civilians are concerned. So, witnesses in the stand. Was it in fact the waiter who gave you the orders? Was it he who told you not to mention that you'd seen a foreign gentlewoman at the scene? Uh, well... Inspector Sanga. Uh, so, I was worried something like this may happen. The moment she had asked me to submit my skates as evidence, I realized there was a possibility. Hold on. Yeah, we know. Yes, I remember now. He did that strangely when the judge asked him to handle first business card. I strive to carry out all investigations flawlessly. It is my guiding principle. But I let myself be distracted when I made that sketch. It was an unusually careless mistake. So you mean to say you really are a detective? But why would a detective be working as a restaurant waiter? Ah, of course, your salary must be t- But I was working undercover. Undercover? There's, there have been a series of incidents at the restaurant recently in order to investigate, I decided to get a job there as a waiter, working on the cover. Incidents at the restaurant? What kind of incident? I'll be classified, please. Information which I'm not at liberty to default. However, I can state categorically that they are unrelated to this 
case of homicide. Hmm. Very well then, Inspector Osanga, but you will elaborate on one point for the court. Of course, Your Excellency. We have just heard new information from the two witnesses beside you. That at the time of the shooting, there was in fact another person present at the victim's table. If that is indeed true, clearly you would have been aware of this person's presence, having served the tab- at the table in question. However, your testimony did not lead to the of a diner. Therefore, I'm led to assume, as your professional, professional capacity as a police officer, you required these witnesses to be in agreement. Would that be correct? <clears throat> correct, Your Excellency. Unbelievable. Hmm, as I suspected. As soon as I heard the gun, so I ran out of the kitchen to see what had happened. The victim sat slumped in his chair and beside him, gun in hand, stand the key student. Sitting opposite the victim at the same table was a young lady, whom I guessed to be an English woman. So that <clears throat> so the truth comes out. I immediately sealed off the restaurant and reported the incident to the buffet. It was then I received some special orders. Special orders? You mean to say, remove the English woman from the scene at once. It was made clear that the English woman's presence at the restaurant was to be concealed. Those were my orders. But, but what if this English woman it was the killer? I think I'd be in everyone's best interest not to pursue that idea. The Empire views the friendly terms of his relationship with Britain more highly than anything at the moment. An English man has been murdered on our soil. To name an English woman as a primary subject, suspect, well, without irrefutable evidence, that would be completely out of the question. So that's the reason for the disappearance of the phantom woman in this case. But it's not right. One possibility does spring to mind. What do you mean, Kazuma? You mean universities currently host in a number of esteemed students from Great Britain, and I'm fairly certain that one of them studying in the medical facilities research laboratory is a young woman, English woman. What? You're a shrewd man. I can see why uh, the chosen candidate for this overseas study tour. You mean... When I removed the woman from the scene of the crime, I thought it was prudent to check her identity first. Then the court demands you that you name the lady in question at once, Inspector. The English woman said it... <coughs> The English woman sitting at the university professor's table was a certain Miss Giselle Bray. Brett. She was indeed a foreign student studying at the research laboratory of Yumi University's medical facility. What, what is happening here? 
I made down the orders from the police where I erased all evidence of the ladies present at the scene you know, and ordered these witnesses to make no mention of her in their testimonies. Must, it must now be up to your excellency to decide how to deal with the situation. Very well, my thoughts on the matter are follows. Thus far, the case presented to the court has been un- underpinned by a particularly critical premise, namely, that the victim was standing alone. However, as we now discover that, the- that this premise is false, it will be a, be a discretion of a ju- justice system to know the truth and give a villain at this point. But, but, your excellency, I mean, missing the noon deadline of a villain in order to send the telegraph report to Great Britain. Our own government will surely be, surely be very displeased by such actions. Calm yourself, Consul. Or not allow like the government of our country or any other to influence the proceedings of my cotton. <clears throat> Inspector Osanga? Yes, sir. <clears throat> You'll locate this yourself, Brett, and escort it to the courtroom with the utmost urgency. At once, Your Excellency. But, but that means you're going against the special orders you were given from the police bureau. As I said before, it's my guiding principle to carry all investigations flawlessly. So it won't be a problem so it won't be a problem. <laughs> Nothing will get in my way. Court will adjourn will adjourn briefly. The prosecution must call the English student to celebrate to the witness stand. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Your Excellency. Good. Then we will have a few minute recess before we convene. And that's the break. Uh, to be continued. Ba, 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 ba. So next time we'll be doing we will see Giselle Brett in court. For next time, so goodbye.